Let me show you how to get to the chart mode. Here, at the extreme left. You can see map and chart here. Chart is below map. There is this icon, you see. Click on it, and instantly you can switch from the map mode to the chart mode, or vice versa. Earlier in the map mode, I have already selected Bogmati, Nepal. So what you see in the chart mode here is also about Bogmati province, Nepal. The difference is that it now shows the temperature rise changes in a time sequence, from the 1980s to 2090s. Take a look at the chart mode, and you notice different colors. See? Several lines in D. Each color represents a certain emission scenario. Here, you can see which color represents which emission scenario, for your reference. This red represents the highest temperature rise. Red, high emission scenario and high temperature rise, represents SSP 585. Yellow represents 370. And this gray color represents SSP 245. The blue color represents SSP 126, the lowest emission scenario. Now, let's see what happens when you move your cursor over here where the color slash SSP scenario references are. Place your cursor like here. And the corresponding part of the chart lights up, becoming active, you see, showing the temperature rise curve in the selected emission scenario. This way you can easily locate the data in any emission scenario of your choice. Also, as I showed you earlier in the map mode, the temperature rise values differ depending on the climate model you use. Take this red belt, for instance. The line on the top of the belt represents the prediction made by the climate model that makes the highest prediction for the temperature rise, in SSP 585. And the line at the bottom of the belt reflects the prediction made by the climate model that makes the lowest prediction for the temperature rise, also in SSP 585. You may find it a bit confusing at first because there seems to be so much to look for. In that case, we have this list available here to help you. Each vertical column corresponds with each SSP scenario available. You can see all four of them checkmarked. Now, uncheck them. And the corresponding belts in the chart mode go off. You can turn them on and off this way. For instance, if you want to see SSP 585 alone, just leave SSP 585 checkmarked. Or, you may want to also see SSP 126, the lower greenhouse gas emission scenario, to compare the difference. Checkmark on both SSP 585 and SSP 126 to see the difference. As you can tell from this image, the temperature rise level will be significantly different in the 2090s. Now, let's see how it works when you want to see more details in each belt. You may want to compare the predictions by different climate models. For instance, down here, we have this list of all 10 climate models stored in Climocast. Checkmark them, like so. And you can see, in time sequence, how much temperature rise is predicted by each of the selected climate models. You can turn it on and off easily by clicking this on and off. For example, you may want to see the info in SSP 585 according to Miroc 6 only. Check mark only on Miroc 6. If you want to see all four scenarios, SSP 585, 370, 245, and 126 according to Miroc 6, find this horizontal line of Miroc and check mark on all four SSPs across the Miroc line to see the temperature rise comparison of the four scenarios. 
As you can see from this one model. It's easy to understand from this chart that the temperature rise prediction changes according to the emission scenario you use. You can see the precipitation changes also in the chart mode by selecting precipitation. This way you can see the precipitation changes as well as the highest and the lowest temperatures. What you see now is the data in four scenarios, SSP 126 to 585, according to Miroc 6. And here is the zero line. And for the precipitation, find ratio here and change the setting to ratio. This line right here, 1.0 indicates the values of the end of the last century. So you can easily tell if it's more or less in comparison. According to this prediction based on SSP 585, shown here in the red line, the precipitation level is predicted to rise a little towards the end of this century. And in other scenarios, not much change is predicted in the precipitation. About this place called Bogmati, Nepal. You can tell that the precipitation is predicted to rise a little in SSP 585, but not so much difference in other scenarios. Now, looking at this, you may be surprised how different they are. The precipitation prediction is known to be highly unreliable no matter which model you use. Take a look at the predictions by other models, in SSP 585 only. You can see they are all very different. Let's see how it is with this one model, called CANESM5. It predicts a substantial precipitation rise towards the end of this century. On the other hand, in the image we just saw with Miroc, the rising curve is there but not nearly as steep as CANESM5. So, by using this chart mode, you can tell that the precipitation forecast is highly unreliable. It tells you that there is a substantial difference in prediction, depending on the climate model you use. So, I would say Climocast is a very useful tool also for understanding this kind of uncertainty as well. About the way to get to the chart mode. I told you earlier to click on the icon of chart to get to the chart mode. There is an alternate function to allow you to jump directly from the map mode to get there. Here is how it works. Right now, what you see here is a map of temperature rise in Nepal. You can simply click on a location itself on the map, just like this. Click and a pop-up image appears, just like this. This is the chart mode I talked about earlier. So you've got an image here in the chart mode that shows the temperature rise from the 1980s to 2090s. By clicking on a location in the map mode, you can switch to the chart mode to see the data and time sequence for the location. Also, at the bottom of this pop-up image, you can find this View This Chart in Detail button. Click on it to jump directly from the map mode to the chart mode. I have selected Central, Nepal. So, what you see here is the temperature rise data of a location called Central, Nepal, in the chart mode. As in the map mode, in this section where you select variables and such, you can find a button CSV download at the bottom. By clicking this button once, you can get the data of what you see now, the data of the temperature rise change values in a location called Central, Nepal.
Let's download the file on my desktop once, just to see. Here it is. And the data looks like this. This is the data in CSV format I have just downloaded. It's in CSV format, but Excel can open it, too. This data is the latest climate forecast, about the temperature in this case. What you see here is the raw data of the temperature rise. You can see 1981, 1991, 2001 and so on. The further you go horizontally, the further you go into the future. The selections in the vertical column here correspond with SSPs, emission scenarios. And in the next column, you have a list of climate models. Variable is set for temperature right now. Temperature as a variable is displayed in abbreviation as TAS as you can see right here. It shows the temperature data, the real, raw data. You can see temperature rise values in any location, central, Nepal in this case, and the data is available for you for any use simply by downloading it in CSV format. The data is available for you to make a graph from or report on any place you like. You can create a graph or time sequence about any place of your choice for any use.